Hey, this is Dan with Putz Ponds and Gardens, and you're watching our YouTube channel, Putz Ponds. So we're up here in Rochester Hills, Michigan, and I'm walking into the backyard. We are going to be doing a pond to a pondless conversion today. What does that mean? Well, the homeowners have an existing pond, and they've they've had it for so many years, and it's time to change. So. Without further ado, let me turn the camera around and what we're going to do for them. This is their little preformed pond that they have right here. Roughly four feet wide by maybe six feet. It's a typical preformed pond. Look at these gorgeous rocks in here. A lot of fractured boulders here uh, look at the sparkles on this I don't know if it shows up shows up on film or on the camera but but what we've got here is typical hillside that um, dirt was brought in and mounded but I think it's just let go I think you can all agree it's time time to convert this to something a lot better so this will be a pondless system so we're gonna start our water way back up at the top we're gonna twist turn and then come down in we'll make a hidden basin down here that hidden basin will have aqua blocks a pump vault they've already got electricity over here so our job is to we're gonna take this apart once we take this apart we're going to carve in a stream once the stream is all carved out, liner, underlayment, piping, pumps, aqua blocks, follow along on this journey with us. Here we go. Alright, so we've got the water drained out, found some interesting way of plumbing in a pond and waterfall. It's kind of a neat looking system set up there. And why not build waterfalls with sandbags? I guess if it works. So things are getting taken apart right now. We've got way more rock than what we're going to reuse. Here's a statue here the homeowner would like us to incorporate into the new water feature. So we'll see if that happens or maybe it doesn't happen. More boulders up and through here. Right here they had a pressurized filter. Well it wasn't even pressurized but it was what we call them as pickle barrel. Water goes in, swirls around in the biological media. Bacteria colonizes in there and keeps the pond clear. But we're going to change everything up because we're going pondless. Back to work. All right, so we've got the aqua box in, we've got the uh, pump vault in, liner underlayment. Derek right now is working on um, leveling out the spillway box. Brian is 
<coughs> excuse me, Brian is hand selecting boulders for the drops, and Zach is now getting ready to put in our Aqua Surge two to four thousand pump. So that way, the customer can, if they leave it on low, um, more serene, quiet. They have more guests, or maybe the neighbor next door is cutting grass. Um, they can turn it up to 10, have louder waterfalls. When they go to bed at night, they can shut it off if they'd like to. All depends on the user, how they want to use these things. It um, doesn't have to run 24-7 like a pond does. All right, so let's uh, try this thing out. So we've got our handy dandy remote on off switch. Let's turn it on. Is that in manual mode right now? Yeah. Check, check that. Yeah, which one's manual mode, white? <laughs> <laughs> okay, why don't we plug it in? You knew that, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Right now. So it'll look dirty yeah. until we rinse it all down. But here she comes. We're going to check the sides for any leaks. Told you that. few plants on this job are really going to make it pop. So until next time, thanks for watching Puts Ponds and Gardens. Leave your comments below and we'll see you on the next video.